Scientists have discovered ominous signs that the Yellowstone supervolcano is preparing to erupt. Scientists have discovered an ominous sign that could signal that the Yellowstone supervolcano is preparing to erupt. Using machine learning, researchers discovered more than 86,000 hidden earthquakes between 2008 and 2022. That's 10 times more tremors than scientists had previously detected. Alarmingly, more than half of those earthquakes occurred in swarms, small groups of interconnected earthquakes, which are known to precede volcanic activity. The researchers say these chaotic swarms were found moving along a young, rugged fault line deep beneath the Yellowstone caldera. These clusters of seismic activity are likely caused by hot, mineral-rich water forcing its way through cracks in the rocks. Yellowstone is one of the world's largest active volcanoes, and if it erupts, it could cover up to two-thirds of the U.S. in ash. The entire state could become uninhabitable as toxic air sweeps through, canceling thousands of flights and forcing millions of people to flee their homes. The Yellowstone caldera is a 30 by 45 mile, 50 by 70 kilometers depression formed by a massive eruption about 640,000 years ago. After the eruption emptied a massive magma chamber, the landmass that remained above it collapsed into the concave space forming the caldera. When scientists want to search for seismic activity around the caldera, they typically have to manually examine large amounts of data. However, using machine learning techniques, Dr. Lai and his co-authors were able to search through seismic recordings dating back many years to find previously undetected tremors. Dr. Bing Li, an earthquake mechanics expert at Western University said, if we had to do it the old-fashioned way where someone manually went through all this data to look for earthquakes, you wouldn't be able to do it. The scalability is inadequate. This revealed that tens of thousands of earthquake swarms had been missed by previous manual inspections. Earthquake swarms are unlike the typical pattern of shaking and aftershocks, where one large event is followed by a number of smaller ones. In contrast, earthquake swarms occur as clusters of small earthquakes that spread rapidly and shift over a small area in a short time.
In some cases, this can be caused by molten magma moving upward through the mantle and crust, creating pressure that can signal an impending eruption. However, volcanologists say this is likely not the case at the Yellowstone caldera. Professor Valentin Troll, a volcanologist from Uppsala University in Sweden who was not involved in the study, told Mail Online, Seismic records reveal episodic activity occurring in clusters within the top 10 kilometers beneath the volcano, primarily along pre-existing fault structures. These clusters are not associated with deep seismicity. In other words, there is no direct evidence of magma replenishment from greater depths. Instead, seismicity is largely confined to the volcano's interior. This kind of activity within an existing volcano is usually caused by the movement of gases and fluids that disturb the ground. As the authors suggest, pressurized fluids are likely the primary cause, as they lubricate faults in the rock, causing the shifting that leads to powerful earthquakes. Professor Troll said this could lead to water and gas-driven eruptions, in which steam or gas erupts from the ground. <laughs> 